video, we're going to upgrade the Lenovo, the S410P uh, with a SSD drive. Upgrading your laptop with the SSD drive was never so cheap like now in 2020 uh, because uh, we bought a 500 gigabytes uh, brand new SSD drive at MeJacko for 60 euros. I think that is a very good price. So, um, yeah, it's from Western Digital. Um, comes in a nice little box and yeah, we will have to put it into this laptop. But of course, before starting with opening the laptop, we're gonna first take a look at the laptop. It's a very lovely device, as you can see. Uh, it's not one of the newest. It comes with two USB 3 ports and it as well has a HDMI port. It has a VGA out. You can connect a network, a network cable. So that is also kind of nice. It's a little bit tricky that this thing will come down. You see that whenever you're gonna pop it in this, so you whenever you're gonna look at it, it will be like, hey, how can that big plug fit into this hole? Just pull it down a little bit. Um, <laughs> you don't want to lose the adapter of this thing. It won't be easy to find a replacement, really. Okay, because this thing has a very special plug. Now, for the rest, I can say one more USB port here, and uh, yeah, a audio out or a microphone. The thing has, yeah, its effect like the ones from the phone. It can handle more connections, so you need effect phone, uh, a phone, uh, yeah, plug with microphone, built in, etc. These kinds of connections you will use for this thing, and then the uh, the sound card will detect whatever it is if it's a microphone or if it's you know the output of your sound card. So what will you need? You will need a Phillips screwdriver, okay, that is the one with the star, uh, not too big one, a small one, and then you will have to open the back. In fact, it's very, very simple. Uh, I will show you the procedure. Uh, up here you're gonna find three screws, because we're gonna remove one panel, and the panel that we're gonna remove is this panel that you see up here this panel is being held with one two three screws and you will be like only three screws yes because um, after you remove these three screws up here you're gonna see if you take a closer look i'm not sure if you can see it you will see something that is like a little arrow down and you'll be like how to open this thing well it's just a matter of removing the three screws and then just holding putting your hand like this and then just pull it backwards okay and then you will be able to get into uh the belly of this of this of this device so we're gonna do that really fast i'm gonna show you how to do that because it might be a little bit tricky for you uh to open this panel there's only three screws yeah uh, one screw uh, is missing but that's okay somebody already went into this uh to this to this machine um so yeah let's check out how this works okay so let me show that to you i told you there are three screws in my case there will be only two screws one and i think the second one i put here okay and then you're just gonna pull it backwards you see that you just pull it backwards and then you can lift it you see that and then um, you will only need to remove three screws this is the hard disk one two three I said three I meant four you see that one two three four these four screws you will have to remove and then you can simply flip out the hard disk okay it will be tightened up with four screws meanwhile you can as well take a dust uh, a vacuum cleaner and hold it on the fan 
and then it will turn the fan and it will as well suck all the dirt that is in there. A better way, of course, is to remove the complete fan and put some cooling paste on the... But I'm not gonna go there. This is not some 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 uh, old laptop. I, I nearly see... Well, I cleaned it out a bit, but you know, there was no dust inside or so. So yeah, here we can put in another memory bank. You see that? So if you want to upgrade this thing to 8 gigabyte or to 16, I'm not even sure. Then you can put in another bank in here, memory bank. You see that? So that is about it uh, for the upgrade. Of course, uh, after you put in the hard disk, you will need to find uh, a bootable USB stick. You can create one with Rufus, with, of course, the operating system that you want to install such as windows in this case this thing will be upgraded to windows 10 and the upgrade will be done from of windows 7 okie though so that is about it this is how you know you then upgrade the hard disk and after you got yourself a bootable usb stick and you install the operating system then you will have to charge it and then it's gonna go on so in this case it's fully discharged uh, I need to connect the power to it but this is how to upgrade your Lenovo uh, the S410P uh, with a uh, yeah, SSD drive guys really easy uh, you will get so much in return for it, you know, machine will run really nice, especially if it had some dust, if you remove the dust, you know, it will be, yeah, a great machine to use, I think. Okay, Lenovo, uh, I would install GNU onto it, but yeah, in this case, this thing will run Windows, it's for a school, uh, a schooler, so it was, in fact, this is the laptop from the brother, from my friend Andrew my neighbor and uh, yeah i hope they will enjoy it for a very long time well that's about it uh, the specifications of the laptop you will find in the description i don't hope that the youtube algorithm will understand it wrongly again maybe i should just not put all these things maybe i just should make some small message so but then it might also think hey the message is too short so somebody must check it because maybe it's doing something bad in the video. Crazy algorithm we have these days. So yeah, it's being updated. So yeah, it must learn. Computer must still learn. So yeah, probably this video will as well need to be checked by the gods there at YouTube. So yeah, we go for it. We are the angels, right? And God must always confirm if that what we angels are doing is good enough to do but this is effect how to upgrade your lenovo or any other laptop with the sata drive and that is all these devices after pentium pentium 4 devices most of them you know they don't come with ata drives anymore <laughs> so yeah uh, big chance that uh, the sata uh, i mean that you have sata in your laptop and then you can upgrade it with of course this beautiful uh, yeah, Western digital SSD drive that you can get for only 60 euros at, for instance, my Jacko or me Jacko, me Jacko, beefy, and I think this is some internet uh, internet uh, store. So thumbs up there to me Jacko. Drive is good. Everything was fine. Everything came good. So uh, keep up the good work there and the prices keep them low for the people, right? And then we'll be buying even more at my me, me Jacko. So that was it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video that showed the upgrade of the Lenovo S410P uh, with a SSD drive of 500 gigabytes. Thank you for watching. If you think this information was useful, leave this video a thumbs up and see you in the next one again. Until then.